Okay, I've been busy working away today trying to get my craft room back together after finally finishing that big honking cookie that you might have seen in my Sculpt Fun preview. So, I've also added a mic that I can now record videos right on my screen with sound. It's going to save me a lot more time and hopefully I can get videos out to you guys sooner. So, uh, I just wanted to show you how you can edit any of these buttons down here, especially if you were having issues um, marking when you were framing. Now, you might get marks on slate or on your uh, canvas that you are painting and trying to engrave. So, we first of all have to connect the machine. Ooh, that's a loud beep. Okay, so we have access to all our buttons and we can now go into the frame and I right clicked no I yeah no I left clicked on my mouse <laughs> and we're gonna go over to now edit button so you're gonna see your G code there which is the M3 for your power so it's your value 30 and I have it at 1% of 100% so and then it said F1000 so that's what I've got, and then I put a tool tip on there that I've got low power at 1%. So if you've added extra icons like I have, and I do have a lot of duplicates here, and I got those from the Laser Gribble site, we're just gonna cancel that. If I go into this one and edit button, we're gonna see that this frame is at five. We are going to change that to 1. Oh, I'll just backspace that. And then I'm going to save that. So that should be at 1%. Now I could also go back to the original button. And I could change. I could just highlight that. Copy that. Go to this button. Right, uh, right click it, edit button, and I could just actually edit and paste it in there as well. And you can do that to your focus, so your focus shows in the brackets the 30 star 1 of 100 value, G1 F1000, so when I click that focus is at 1% as well. So there, there's a quick video and I hope that helps. And don't forget to subscribe and click on notifications so you're notified of any new videos that I post. Now go create!